well, this is Guns, Knives, and Tools, and this is the Univega uh, from Mendham Bike. You can use the code from Kev Central, get 5% off. I said that mine was a little bit different than the one he got in the fact that I had a different stem on the front of it. Uh, other than that, they all seem really the, sa the same. Now, what I've done also is I've put ad an Advent uh, controller on it, uh, which is an Advent uh, 9 speed, and then changed the rear cassette over uh, to an Acolyte, or to an Advent uh, 46 tooth to 11, and then the Advent rear derailleur on it. Also kind of put a... Uh, rubber um grippy stuff on it i'll get you i'll put down the details what that is but other than that that's all we've done put pedals on it so is the bike worth it well if you use the code um either come back or meet kev however you do it um you put, get the bike for around 270 bucks. Well, you put a set of pedals on it, and these Chester pedals are $30. Then, if you're to buy a rear cassette, because the rear cassette that came on this bike was a 36, now we have a 46 on it, and an Advent rear derailleur, which will take uh, the 46. Uh, they're rated for each other. And then... Uh, of course, change the uh, the shifter because Advent, Advent X, and Acolyte all run off the same pull ratio, and it's different than a lot of the other micro stuff, micro shift stuff, and I blah blah blah. Anyway, so this bike's about ready to go out. Uh, if you buy all these pieces, it's going to cost you around four hundred and thirty dollars. Ask is uh, just without the water bottle cage. So is it worth it? It's a really good bike. I will tell you one thing about the handling of this bike. It has an extremely long chain stay. The other bikes that Mendham has uh, that have the actual curved seat tube do not have anything close to as long of a chain stay. And you can tell that because hell, I got a big hand and I can put my hand uh, between uh, the actual tire and it's a 29 inch tire in the frame <clears throat> and you can't do it on the other ones and they have a bent chains they have a bent seat tube so the seat doesn't go as far down in it i have had no problem with that bent uh seat tube on the other bike but uh you know it is what it is have a good one